Hey gang, welcome back to another video. Now for as long as I've been making tombstones for our haunt, I've had people ask if they could commission me to make tombstones for theirs. And while I'd love to say yes to all of it, I just know that the amount of time it would take me to do it is outside of most people's budgets. But what if I had a tombstone making robot? But wait, I do. After a quick setup, I grabbed a piece of 2 inch insulation foam and got it secured in place with some clamps. Then I took a quick measurement so that I could tell the easel software what size material I'd be carving. And with that squared away, it was time to start designing my tombstone. Normally my process of designing and carving tombstones required a vector drawing program and a vinyl cutter to make a stencil or a projector to cast the design onto the foam which I'd then trace out with a marker. But easel takes the place of all of those things, so I'm able to lay out my text, add in some decorative design elements, and even design my tombstone shape in one place and know that when I send it to my X-Carve, it'll look exactly how I designed it. Which has always been a bit of a challenge carving tombstones by hand particularly if there was a long epitaph or detailed elements in the design, both of which I've kind of shied away from. So once I had my layout done, I set the carving depth of each element as well as what type of carve style, and was able to see a rendering of my tombstone to make sure I was happy with the design. Then it was a matter of a few mouse clicks and my tombstone carving robot was ready to do my bidding. You know, I never thought I'd see the day that a machine was turning my tombstone ideas into reality, but here we are. And while I'll always enjoy hand carving tombstones, I have so many ideas for tombstones and add-on elements that I'd never have been able to do by hand. And with foam being so hard to find and getting more expensive by the day, the fact that I can have repeatable results makes all the difference. And just like that, my tombstone is done. As you can see, there's a level of accuracy here that regardless of how steady my hand is, would never really be possible to achieve with a rotary tool. Plus, it's nice knowing that I won't have to hide a mistake by adding in a crack or a chip in the face of the tombstone to save me from having to start all over again. Now there's still a bit of finishing to be done, and I have videos on that subject, which I'll link down in the video description. But between the easel software and the X-Carve, it's a huge time saver, and now I can start selling tombstones when people ask. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, but most importantly, go make something.